Hey babes! So welcome back to my channel, The Makeup Face, and for those who are turning in for the first time, welcome. So today I'm doing kind of more like I did with the Thinkful series. I'm just kind of reflecting on my favorite things that I love about Christmas. Obviously this year is a little different in some of the things that we can partake, but again, there's some things that just don't require us to be involved with anybody else or being out and about. So those are kind of the things that I wanted to reflect on and just share with you kind of the little things that, you know, just really make the Christmas season really special and kind of just something that makes it so memorable and kind of just these little traditions that I do every single year. So yeah, keep watching. As always, you know, I appreciate you guys watching. So don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and sharing is caring. Again, let's all be nice to each other. Let's all kind of gain some perspective and really make this upcoming year a really much better year and definitely does make this Christmas season a really awesome Christmas season for 2020. So let's get started. Okay, so one of my favorite things about Christmas is the movies and the music. So as soon as Thanksgiving is done, it's Christmas music until we hit Christmas day. So I don't care what's happening. I am blasting Christmas music. I enjoy Christmas, Christmas music during this time so much. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I just, I will nonstop be listening to it. Um, and it, it can be like a classical side, it can be the like traditional songs, it can definitely be the more like progressive new songs that have come out, um, or I should say like contemporary or modern. Um, love it. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love it. And again, I will full on be streaming it after Thanksgiving and then till the day of Christmas. And then after that, I'm done. I never want to hear anything more. <laughs> I am like, no more. I, I have spent all my days doing it. It's literally like probably 30 days of just pure Christmas music. So that's it. Like after that, I want nothing to do with Christmas, Christmas music. Second is the movies. So every year I have to see the specific set of movies or it does not feel like Christmas for me. So obviously the Home Alones, the one and two have to watch it. Like how do you not not have to see those? Um, Another one is Elf. I super, super love. I mean, that one I, I will watch even when it's not Christmas. Um, I just, I really enjoy it. I think it's such a cute movie. I think it, it's so precious. Um, yeah, I, I, I can't say enough about it. Again, I think it's so cute. It's little things that you can take away from it. And it's such a great family movie. So, you know, adults, kids, everyone gets enjoyment out of it. And then the final ones, and usually they happen around like closer to like Christmas, Christmas day, um, are the, I'm not, I'm going to say it wrong. It's the, um, is it like the cartoon ones that come? It's like a year without Santa Claus and all of those. Um, Frosty the Snowman, I think it's like one of the titles of the other ones. So I have to see those every single year like it just does not feel like christmas if i don't watch those um and i it, i think it's just a childhood thing that i've carried over and yeah so the, like those are the tops that i have to see um obviously there's a lot of other christmas music i mean uh, christmas movies that you know i love to see but nothing beats those top ones oh and then of course i'm missing like the treasure of all of I have to see the original Grinch. I have the, <laughs> I actually have the, the DVD, but I have to watch it every single year, the original. It's only like less than 20 minutes. Um, it's super quick, but I have to watch it. And of course I will always watch the one with Jim Carrey and now the new one that came out. But yes i have to watch the original grinch it's just something that since i was a kid i've always enjoyed that movie um just 
obviously speaks to me. <laughs> if that's not clear, it just obviously speaks to me. Um, I don't know, I love it. I think it's such a great like film, especially for the holidays. So yeah, those are my tops for Christmas. Okay, so my second favorite thing about the Christmas season is the food. So again, if Thanksgiving wasn't enough, bring on the full on feast that is happening throughout the Christmas season. So it's the sweets, it's all kinds of stuff. I feel like I'm stuffing my face the entire time. Um, I can't say that I have anything in particular that's like sticks out. That's my absolute favorite. I just, in general, like I just love the eating and the, you know, the gathering everyone and we're all just stuffing our faces <laughs> throughout this entire time. Um, yeah, I, I just, I, I, so, I so much enjoy just like all the little special things that we normally don't have throughout the year because it's kind of a special thing to celebrate via Christmas. You know, it brings the families together, the friends together. And I, that's one thing I, I truly enjoy is just the, the way food brings everyone together. So that's definitely my second favorite thing about the Christmas season. So last but not least, the third favorite thing about the Christmas season is the gift giving. So one of my favorite things is picking out gifts for people, um, whether it's something that I personally make or it is something that I find. Like I really put a lot of thought into the gifts that I give. So if you're getting something from me, best believe that I put a lot of thought into it. Like I just didn't pick something up and be like, oh, I hope they like it. Like, I really think about who I'm getting it for, what do they like, everything. I go through the full scale. I'm like, could they use this? This is something that is gonna be a part of their life. Like, I really put a lot of thought and it's one of my favorite things is to give gifts, like even more than receiving them. I so enjoy like giving people things. Like, I just, there's just something like a special joy in me. One, because of the time that it takes to pick it out. You know, I really, again, I put a lot of thought. I want to make sure that I'm giving you something that's meaningful and something that's useful. So that is the last, but of course not least, favorite thing about the Christmas season is the chance to be able to give special things to the people that really matter to me and, you know, that mean a lot to me. So, yeah. And this concludes my like little favorite things, my little segment of favorite things of the Christmas season. Obviously there are tons of things that we can all be like grateful for, you know, the lights, the spending time with family, you know, this year it's kind of different. So we don't really know how it's going to kind of like play out. Um, but we can definitely reflect on all the wonderful things that we normally enjoy during this time. And again, I would say if there's not a, if there's not a, a moment to really reflect and really appreciate everything that you have in your life, it is now because things are forever changing and we never know how things are going to be. So definitely again, be kind to each other, you know, treat each other with respect. And yeah, um, Merry Christmas to all of you guys. And yeah, that's that concludes everything that I have for this video. So until next time, babes, bye.